go. How does it feel to live in the box? Hey, Billy Goat, what's it like living in a box? Hey, what is it like to live in the box? Yeah, what's it like? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to answer the question I get asked the most. What is it like to live in the box? So this is obviously my opinion, which is based on my experiences. I've been living in the box for about a year and a half now, and honestly, I don't even know why I didn't do this sooner. It's been amazing. Uh, the size of the box is uh, pretty small. It's about 100 square feet, which is perfect to fit in a single parking space. The box is essentially a, a tiny home, but it's mobile, which can be driven around, uh, which is nice. The box is everything you need to, to live. Uh, electric water, shower, toilet. Ultimately, uh, living in the box is just like living at home. I've lived in houses and apartments uh, growing up. So uh, it's the same thing, except for it's uh, on a smaller scale, uh, which makes it convenient uh, for when you're finding places to park uh, for the night or what have you. Now, when it comes to the Murphy bed, uh, it can actually fold up into that cavity there. More often than not, actually, I leave it down in the, in the down position unless I'm entertaining guests and I need more space. Living in the box is also awesome due to flexibility. Uh, the fact that it is mobile so I can go wherever, whenever, and I don't have to worry about plugging anything in because I'm self-sustained. I have about 300 watts of solar power. I also have two different cooktops, an electric one as well as a gas one, depending on if I am plugged in or if I am off the grid, I can use the propane to cook my food. Living in the box is great because you're not held down to any kind of a property. So therefore, you don't have to worry about maintaining the outside, although uh, the box does take maintenance as well. Proper maintenance is key to maintaining proper operation. And that includes oil changes, tune-ups, and anything else regarding the engine, as well as electrical, including solar, as well as plumbing and anything that contains, especially changing the water filter any and all lights, as well as tires. The cost for me for living in the box uh, is essentially zero. Uh, I, own, I own the truck and uh, I built out the truck and converted it to an RV uh, and I paid all cash for it. So everything has been paid off. Uh, so I don't have uh, any kind of car payment, a uh, loan payment, uh, uh, rent, a uh, mortgage, anything like that. Uh, as opposed to living in an apartment or owning a house where you have a mortgage or you have to pay rent every month, uh, which could be cumbersome sometimes, but uh, I don't have to worry about that because everything's paid for, which is awesome. I've uh, traveled around the country once, been to a lot of amazing places. I saw a lot of amazing things. Uh, depending on where I go uh, and what I do, how much I drive will depend on how much fuel costs, of course. Uh, and that is probably my uh, my biggest expense, if you will, when it comes to travel and doing anything in the box. If I'm staying around uh, somewhere locally, I don't have to spend as much in fuel. As opposed to if I go on a trip, obviously, I have to spend more money in fuel. For example, my trip uh, last year, if anybody has watched any of my videos uh, from uh, my road trip that I did across country uh, right after I built the box, uh, I didn't put anything in there about how much it cost me, but I probably spent at least $4,000 in just fuel alone uh, doing about 9,000 miles around the country, which, you know, is it is what it is. I saw a lot of amazing things and I paid the price for it. Uh, for me, living in the box is definitely a lifestyle change uh, from what I am used to. Like I said, living in houses and apartments uh, to move into the box. It is on a smaller scale, but uh, I don't seem to mind it. Like I said, I, I wish I knew about this uh, sooner in life or wish I had thought about doing this sooner in life. It would have probably benefited me uh, a lot more than it is now, but it's amazing. This life in general is not for everyone, uh, so it, it, it does take a, a lot to getting used to. And that is the one thing that I had uh, to overcome when I you know, switched my uh, residence from uh, living in a house to living in the box. 
but the cost factor is definitely a big plus. I'm able to save a whole heap ton of money just because I don't have to spend anything on rent or a mortgage or anything like that. Living in the box was a lot more fun when I did have Princess around. Unfortunately, she has passed on. It's been a rough few months before this video was recorded uh, that I had to deal with with, uh, with uh, Princess's loss. But she is always with me and always with our family. And uh, I'm, I'm doing just fine without her. Uh, I miss her every day and uh, she made she made this van life uh, you know so much easier to do uh, just having a companion uh, but I can't really say I'm alone I do have family and friends I have every single one of you that watches these videos and I greatly appreciate every single one of you when it comes down to heating or cooling uh, heating I have an electric heater as well as I have a gas buddy heater uh, as well as I have the heat that uh, that the truck is equipped with itself uh, so depending if I'm plugged in or if I'm off the grid, it'll depend on what kind of heat that I use, whether I run the truck for a little bit to get the heat going throughout the, the box part, or I have my gas buddy uh, hooked up. I also have the electric heater for when I am plugged in. As for uh, when it's hot out uh, to cool down, I have a couple of fans that I use, as well as my vent fan that I use uh, as well to keep uh, air flowing through. I have an air conditioner but I don't really use it much because I feel like that's more of a luxury than a necessity. And I really have to be plugged in for that. My solar can't handle that just as well as my solar can't handle an electric heater. Uh, but I'll upgrade that uh, one day, I'm sure. Well, that's all for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. If I missed anything or if you have any questions, please drop your comments down below. I appreciate all the love and support. Until next time, we're going for a car ride.